Hi everybody, this is Buck WSR Weezer coming at you today from my shop, also known as the driveway. And we're here today with the 96 Mustang. Has the 3.8 liter V6. And what I'm doing today is using a homemade smoke machine to test for vacuum leaks or intake leaks. Reason I'm doing that is because for a couple of months now the uh, check engine light has been on. I put a code reader on it. It's a diagnostic trouble code P0171 lean fuel mixture on bank one. And I realized there could be a number of reasons for that, but one of the common reasons for that is a uh, an intake leak somewhere perhaps where unmetered air is making its way into the uh, into the combustion chamber and the computer is not able to compensate that to, to uh, maintain the correct fuel air ratio so here's my homemade smoke machine <clears throat> let me give you an overview of it compressed air coming from my compressor which is over there through this fuel this uh, air pressure regulator right here we don't want a whole lot of pressure volume but not pressure this is a paint can and inside there is a, a fiberglass wick wrapped around it is some uh, resistance wire and uh, comes out the side positive and negative and it connects to the the battery so this runs on 12 volts so that heats up it's fueled by mineral oil in this case baby oil which is mineral oil with a little bit of I don't know what they put in it baby scent stuff of course our scent if any is going to be more of a burnt smell because that's going to get hot and create smoke so I'm going to put the uh, the lid on it and uh, secure the lid We'll connect the uh, we'll connect the uh, terminals to the battery. Start creating some smoke in there. Then we'll open the valve to uh, we'll open the valve to let the air flow through. I am going to connect our our outlet hose here to the to the uh, vacuum line that connects to the brake master cylinder. So let's see if we can get some smoke coming out before we actually connect it. And what I'll do is I'm gonna put you put the camera up on the tripod here and uh, be able to see. I hope. All right, so you can see that coming out already. Can you see the smoke coming out there? That's pretty good. So we're getting some smoke. I should have also mentioned I covered up the air intake right after the air cleaner with some plastic wrap and uh, that's held on with a rubber band. All right, so we're gonna introduce the smoke into the system and see if we can determine where the uh, intake leak or leaks may be. Give it a little more airflow through there. I'm starting to see a potential area of leak. See some smoke coming out. I'm going to move the camera closer. Maybe you'll be able to see it with me. This might be easier if I had my glasses on. I see some smoke coming out right here. I don't know if that's visible to you on the camera. This is the idle air control valve. I don't think that's what Ford calls it, but that's what it is. And I'm and I see it leaking out between the the idle air control valve and the throttle body, which is a little bit surprising to me because not long ago I had taken this apart to clean it and I put a new gasket in here. So maybe I need to uh Tighten that down a little bit, or possibly take it apart again and 
use some ATV to seal it up a little bit better. Because that would certainly account for some unmetered air. But honestly, I was getting that trouble code before I even went about cleaning this. I feel like I'm seeing some smoke coming up through here too, and I'm not entirely sure where. Let's see if we can walk around to the other side. Just see a little bit of smoke coming out here. I don't know if you can tell that. Right now I'm seeing a lot come out here. And it seems like something down here. I don't know if it's a cracked vacuum hose, which would not su surprise me. Because I feel I hear a little air coming out there when I push on that hose. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera. So I would say we've got a perhaps a cracked hose or a split hose right there. And that is not hard to believe because this car is 21 years old, has over 300,000 miles. I'm getting a lot of smoke coming out of this gasket area. I'm going to definitely have to redo that. I'm going to have to work for a tighter connection here. This hose is going down to the uh, fuel pressure regulator. Wow, when I push on that, you actually can hear the hiss of the smoke coming out. So I'm thinking I got two little jobs here. Fix that vacuum line right there and reseal the idle air control valve. I don't observe smoke coming out anywhere else. Well actually I do over here by the air cleaner but I'm not really worrying about that at this point I don't think that's a source of a problem but uh reason I want to want to disconnect the uh, power probably still get smoke coming out pretty good you see that wow I love that that's great it proves that this homemade smoke machine is uh working really well I'm so happy about that this is the first time I'm trying it so we've uh, disconnected the power so that should cool down a little bit the reason I wanted to try one of these smoke machines is because not only was I getting the P0171 code lean fuel on bank one not only was I getting that code with the the Mustang but I get the exact same code, and I have for um, a year or so off of the uh, silhouette. All right, so our plastic just came off of the uh, air intake. So I'm going to turn this down. I don't want to be putting too much. I don't want to be putting too much pressure through that system. And what I'll do is I'll open this lid. To let the uh, rest of the smoke escape. It's going to cool down. Yeah, so that's working pretty good. I'm really happy with that. I've identified two potential problems that could be contributing to the leak here. And once I fix them, maybe that code will go away. I mean, there's no evidence of uh, drivability issues. It's, it seems to be running just fine. But I'm kind of obsessive, and when that diagnostic, when that trouble code light comes on, the, the check engine light, it just really gets me, and I want to resolve it. I'm just obsessive like that, you know. But now I got a smoke machine, and I'm going to be able to use. And uh, this guy's next. So thank you for joining me on this journey. You know, I got the idea for this uh, smoke machine from other YouTube videos. One guy was really clear in his uh, description of how to build it, and I'm going to try to give him credit for that and link to his channel. I'll do that in the video description. Thank you for being part of this. Hope it's been helpful to you. Take care.